Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Good evening, me. Good evening. Um, can you can you hear me? Yeah. Can everybody hear me, guys? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Give me just a second. I'm going to change the computer. Picture. Okay, everybody. So I hope I can hear you a little bit better. Thanks, everybody, for joining. Me lo haré escuchar. Can you hear me? Can you hear me well? Um, está lloviendo un poquito fuerte, so no sé si me van a lograr escuchar. Regálenme confirmación, porfa. Can everybody hear me? Perfect. It's, it's fine. Yes. Amazing. You know, no parada, yo ver toda la tarde, it has been a crazy day, but lo bueno es que vamos a descansar, you know, sin mucho calor, right? So it's going to be a really good night. So, gracias a todos por unirse. Thanks everybody for joining. Uh, vamos, um, well, you know, la semana se ve super corta. Today is Tuesday. And uh, we are, y ya casi terminamos nuestra eh, segunda semana. So we are about to finish with number two as well. Solamente hacerles um, well, la solicitud que me ayuden siempre con la plataforma, right? Eh, completándome el día de ahora, si es posible, la unidad número dos. So, al igual que el examen que tenemos eh, de midterm, que les aparece al finalizar la sesión número dos. Um, I'm going to get started by taking attendance. Si me pueden ayudar con su camarita un momento, por favor, regalándome uh, confirmación, ya sea. Uh, yeah, give me confirmation. <laughs> you always give me confirmation. So, okay. Anita, no sé si está por acá, Anita. No yet. Brian. Danis. Present teacher. Hola, Alex. Gracias. Ok. So, Danis es acá. Eh, Saraí. Present teacher. Gracias, Miss. Eduardo. Present. Thank you, Eduardo. Nice to see you. How are you? Fine. Great, okay. Your, your voice suena como, oh, final del día. <laughs> Pero me alegra que esté acá. I'm happy to see you here. Guadalupe. Present, Miss. Gracias. Jackie. Present, Miss. Gracias, Jackie. Jocelyn. Present. Thank you. Uh, Ignacio. Present, teacher. In Sayapango, we listen you clearly and solely. Nice, nice, yeah, because believe me, pero está cayendo like dogs, cats, snakes, everything, está super fuerte. All right, Norbert. Present teacher. 
Thank you so much. Alex, well, Alex, ya lo escuchamos hoy. Eh, Marvin, Marvin López. Present teacher. Gracias, Alex. Eh, Clary. Clary, Clary. I am here, Miss. Good evening. Go. Hola, Miss. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está la lluvia por allá, chicas? En Atiquesaya, en esa zona. Que um, acá no está lloviendo. Pero sí, sí se ve como que va a llover. Pero sí se ve como que va a llover. Okay. Yeah, I remember. Es como una zona un poco lluviosa. Ok. Moses. Hola, Moses. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Here. Mason. Pedrina, por ahí vía Pedrina, hace unos segunditos. Hi, Pedrina. Thank you. Thank you so much. René. Bien, no, Richard. Present. Gracias, Present. René. Present, teacher. Thank you, René. Mabel. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Uh, Brenda. Carlos. Charlie. Charlie, Charlie. I thought we were Carlos. Yeah, I thought we were. I saw him. Uh, Claudio? Yeah, I think I saw him. Wait, okay. <laughs> Carlos, um, he calls my attention. Le agregó oyente para todos. Okay. So, no sé si Claudia. Uh, no, no sé Claudia. Eh, Karina. Karina, la vi súper tempranito. Thank you, Chair. Gracias, Miss. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, let me see. Hizo falta. Hola, hola. Hola. Ahora sí, ya lo escuché. I heard you already. Hola, Anita. Dígame, Carlos. Present teacher, hello. No, probando el audio, a ver si se me escucha. Eh, se le escucha un poquito lejos, pero sí se le escucha. Ok, ya voy a revisar. Estaba Solo se escucha como, como si está un poco retirado. Uh -huh. okay. Probablemente el speaker, right? But I got you. Ok. Ahora sí, ya lo escuché. Ok, there we go. Ok, guys, so let me present my screen. Vamos a dar inicio a nuestra sesión número 9 today. We are going to get started with our class. Uh, tenemos, like, um, vamos a seguir con el mismo tema, like, simple present, but of course, vamos a enfocarnos un poquito más en get fluency every day, get more vocabulary every day, get more confidence every single day. Uh, to get started, I have here um, a little review, right? So, vamos a hacer uh, un previous class vocabulary review. And this is called 30 seconds talk, all right? So, por 30 segundos, vamos a hablar de un tema, de any topic, all right? Un tema X that I'm going to tell you. I'm going to give it to you. So, um, normally... Um, it is a little hard to describe objects, animals, jobs, etc. So, for 30 seconds, nos van a hablar de eso. Nos van a describir un objeto or anything. Um, my first question, tengo algún voluntario? Do I have any volunteer or do I go with victims? Okay, my favorite, victims. <laughs> Ok, um, so Karina, usted es mi primera persona en la pantalla. Give me one number, from 1 to 20. Ok, uh, 10. Perfect. So, number 10 in my list, that goes to... -na 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 -na, Ignacio. <laughs> ok, Ignacio, you are my number 10. So, I'm going to give you the topic, le voy a dar el tema y e invéntese whatever you can, right, en 30 segundos. It's only 30 seconds stuck. And then we are going to select the next person and support. So, 
Denme un momento, denme just a moment. Okay, there we go. Ignacio, ready? Are you ready? <laughs> I will give you the topic, I, I, okay? I do, I do, I do try. Okay, perfect. So the topic is in the chat. The topic is apples. You have to tell us everything you can about apples. Describe it, uh, flavor, <clears throat> shape, um, say the characteristics, if you like it, if you don't like it, anything, lo que sea que nos pueda decir en 30 segundos. Okay? okay. Ready? Okay, Ready. perfect. One, two, three, go. Okay, the, the, the last, the last uh, Sunday, we, we're going to buy, go to market with my, with my oh. daughter. Okay. And, 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 and then the apple, the green apple, I, I like too much the green apple. And because to, to do your joys, your, sorry, Hugo, I don't know Hugo. They are juicy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice, Ignacio. I have to stop you. Very nice. Okay. They are juicy. Exactly. All right. You gave us some information. Very good job. And time is over, unfortunately. Ignacio, your 30 seconds are over. Diga mi número. Tell me a number from 1 to 20. Yeah, the number 20. Okay, number 20 is Mabel. <laughs> okay, so Mabel, you are the chosen one. This is a 30 second talk. Are you ready? Uh, teacher, I'm sorry. Uh, yo estoy en el trabajo todavía. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. No worries. It's okay. Cuando regreses. <laughs> when you get home. Cuando llegues a casa. No worries. Thank you so much. No. Oh, hopefully, yes. Pero gracias, Miss, por conectarse a pesar de no de estar trabajando todavía. Thank you so for gracias. that. All right, no problem. So, uh, number one, number 20 is, is Don. Vamos con el número 19. And number 19 in my list is Richard. Richard, ¿está por ahí? Hi, teacher. Creo que está trabajando. Richard, no, hi. Estamos, estamos. Uh, are you home? Yes. Um, okay. Perfect. Drink perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice. Enjoy it. So, yes. Richard, I will give you this topic. So, 30 segundos, 30 seconds. Stop. Okay. It's not fácil, guys. They are easy. They are easy. I know you can do it. Okay. No, no, tranquilo. Si no, acá le ayudamos, no problem. My, bra my brackets are... Wait, wait. wait. Lo voy, a, voy a tomar el tiempo. I'm going to take the time ah, para que se en 30 segundos. No. Okay, yes, go. Yes. <laughs> go. My dentist is uh, clean. Uh -huh. uh, I, I am brackets. Uh, um, Eh, no sé cómo se llama, color, se me ha olvidado. Eh, Ain. Yes, Ain. Eh, uh, uh, bicarbonato, no sé cómo se dice. Baking uh, soda. Yes, baking soda. Eh, eh, three eh, veces uh, today. Uh, three times. Three times, clean. Eh, mm -hmm. Sonrisa. Colgueiro. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes, and, uh, and time is over. I have to stop you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think you mentioned Colgate, right? Como la Colgate. pasta de tal. Colgate. Colgate. Uh -huh. Col Colgate right. o Colgate? Uh, Colgate. Uh-huh. Ah, es que, yes. es que otra me dijo que era Colgate. Pero no sé. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> sí, sí. Yeah, Cal 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 Colgate, exactly. Sí, sí. So that is the one. Um, okay. Now, voy a agregar solamente tres palabritas acá antes que se me olvida because later I normally forget this. For example, la primera palabra que se escrita en el chat dice pain, right? So pain is dolor. So like I have a pain in my head, I have a pain in my teeth, or I have a pain in my heart. So pain, right? The dolor. And the second, and the word that is below, uh, some brackets, right? In Spanish, decimos brackets. But in English, le vamos a quitar la K y la convertimos en braces. Ah, braces. So that becomes braces, correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So that is the one. Very good job, Richard. That was nice. So very specific. Richard, give me one number from one to 20. Yes. No me gusta hacer esto, pero. No, I mean, para que no me dé el nombre, tell me, para que no me dé el nombre, dígame el nombre. Six. Okay, perfect. So number six in my list is da, 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 Eduardo. <laughs> okay, hi Eduardo. Are you ready? Yeah. Amazing. So I give you the topic here and tell us for 30 seconds about it. Uh, so this one is beans, right? So previously we were talking about food. So we have beans. Like los frijolitos, right? Oh, mm, yeah. yeah. Todo lo que parezca frijol. Um, so, tell us about it. Lo que se le ocurra, whatever you can tell us about beans. Oh, so, beans. one, two, three, go. Okay, beans are very small. Um, it's a traditional meal here in El Salvador every night. Uh, with uh, eggs and cream and something else, but beans you you have to. It's a must in your table every day. So it's a traditional here in El Salvador and maybe in another country in Central America. So mm -hmm. maybe a basic thing about beans. They are very small, colorful, at the beginning green, and at the end red, like purple. Okay. And, yeah. And time is over. <laughs> no, you did it nicely. Very good job. Yes, exactly. There are different colors, right? Like reddish, kind of purplish. Yeah. Also the, the the black ones. Los frijoles mono. <laughs> okay. But that nice. That was a very good description. Thank you. Eduardo, give me a number from one to twenty, please. Eleven. Seven. So number seven is Guadalupe. Already. Guadalupe, 30 seconds. Are you ready? Yes, miss. Amazing. So I will give you this one. I am using 11. <laughs> 11. No, no, no. You are number seven. So this topic is milk. Mm -hmm. So you can tell us anything you can about milk in the following 30 seconds. Ready? Ready. Do it, go. Okay, uh, the meal is good for, for the breakfast. Uh, you can uh, mix clap. Mix it? Uh, it with the, with, mm -hmm, with the conflict. Mm -hmm. uh, milk is good for for ch for child. Uh, the ca the cow uh, give milk. Mm -hmm. mm. And the time is over. <laughs> okay, nice. That was a really good one. Exactly. So it comes from cows. And they are really good for kids. All right, good. Uh, well, Lupe, give me one last number, please, from one to 20. Um, 16. Okay, very good. So number 16 goes for da -da -da -da. Nelson. Hi, Nelson. Wait, permítame primero. Let me make sure that Nelson is here. Um, no recuerdo haberlo visto en el primer control. Nelson? Yeah, there he is. But, no sé si tiene el audio. Hi, Nelson, can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Perfect, okay, hi. So, we are working with a 30-second talk. Estamos con eh, un tema de 30 segundos. Usted nos cuenta lo que puede. Whatever you can en ese periodo de tiempo. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, amazing. So I'll give you the topic if se nos comienza a contar. All right. So this is uh, baker. 
All right. So tell us anything you can about a baker. Give me one second here. Okay, let's do it. One, two, three, go. Okay, baking is a um, tema de conversación. Mm -hmm. Continue, continue. Okay, and baking is a. Um, I don't know. It's baker. Baker is a um, relational with uh, braille mm -hmm. yes right? <laughs> yes yes okay is a bakery in i like bacon <laughs> okay Already, already, and the time is over. <laughs> exactly. So baker is el panadero, right? So that is uh, related to ah, bread okay. with semitas, yeah, <laughs> and everything. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Nelson. Thank you so much. So no worries. We will check some other jobs later so we can get more ideas. But at the very beginning, you know, that was good. Very good description. So let's re review just a couple of things here. Um, well, antes de, de presentarle para my vocabulary, uh, solo un little reminder that today, uh, August the 31st, eh, yo sé si me puede regalar un par de minutitos, right? So I'm going to be with you. Now, guys, to get started, um, let's take a look at the following exercise. Here we have. Uh, vocabulary practice. Revisemos un poquito los verbos que nos eh, que conocemos, right? And let's try to put these together. Por ejemplo, la primera dice, choose the right verb and make it a grid. Vamos a tener que uh, escoger el verbo más adecuado for the blank space. For example, some. ¿Qué verbo hace falta in the first spot right here? Some. Wait. Okay, so some. Wake up. Okay, okay, una cosita más. Eh, wake, it's, it's okay, pero dice some, tercera persona. ¿Qué cambio le voy a hacer a wake? Wakes. 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 Perfect, so some wakes, mm -hmm. some wakes up at eight and. ¿Qué me falta acá? Cake. Cake. Pero como sigo Take. hablando de some, ¿qué cambio? Uh -huh. Takes. Takes. Excellent. He, his teeth. Brushes. Brushes. Oh, very good. So he brushes. Nice. He brushes his teeth in the bathroom. And se viste. And wears. Dress. ¿Cómo digo vestirse? Ya tengo dressed, pero me falta Where? un verbo más. Mm. Das. Can, can you repeat that? Das. Das. Mm, cerca, but hay otro verbo. Wears. Wears. Mm, sí, pero ya tenemos dressed, entonces no podríamos combinarlo. Pero hay un verbo que es el camaleónico. That I, lo puedo utilizar de 15, 20 significados diferentes. What is get. that? Get, exactly. So, get, pero again, estoy hablando de some. Get. Entonces le agrego, mm -hmm, very good. And get dressed. ¿Cómo digo me visto? Oh, I get dressed. ¿Cómo digo él se viste? He gets dressed. Okay. Next one, breakfast. No puedo decir solo he breakfast. Mm, me falta okay. un verbo. He Yes. Very good. Takes us again. Takes is okay. O también has. Or eats. Estarían bien. He in front of the TV. He. He. And here. The bus to a school. He goes. He goes. Oh. Tiene mucho sentido. Goes. Pero si fuera como goes to school. Pero acá le han agregado algo más que es de bus. Takes. 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 Exactly. He takes the bus to school. Él toma el bus. Mm -hmm. He takes the bus to school. He. 
school. Arrives. Good. He arrives. El llega, right? He arrives at school. He arrives at school. A break. Tastes. Takes with friends and at the lunch time. Mm. ¿Qué hacen en los recesos? What do you think? Play. Plays with friends and at lunch time. Puede tener sentido. What is it? Speaks. Oh, it speaks. Oh, it speaks. Mm. Puede ser. ¿Qué más? What else? What else yep. comes to your mind? Not for me. Oh, meets, exactly. So he meets, él se reúne, right? Yes. So he meets with friends. Mm -hmm. uh, and at the lunch time, he... To the local, chippy, como la tiendita. Go, go. Okay, okay, yeah, that works. So he goes, very good. Now, let's take a look at the following. He usually, attention, ¿cómo digo poner atención? He usually, pay attention. Pay, pero ¿cómo es tercera persona? Pays. Yes, excellent. He usually pays attention. ¿Puedo decir put attention? De hecho, sonaría un poquito raro <ríe> si unimos los saludos, así que uh, los sonidos. So, pays is okay. He usually pays attention in class and... Is. Is. Mm -hmm. A good student. Very good. After school, he. Does. Uh -huh. He goes. No. Vamos a agregarle to porque no está. He goes to a homework club before returning home. In the evening, he usually. ¿Qué puede hacer en la noche? What do you think? Visits. Visits. Up. Mm, podría funcionar, pero tenemos la palabra up que se complica a little bit more. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué otra posibilidad se les ocurre? He usually Get. gets up with friends. Mm, otra posibilidad, another one. He is a boy. So, ¿Qué puede hacer en la noche? Play. Mm -hmm. Ok, so play is fine. Y tenemos la palabra ya up, up, que funciona súper bien. Como es tercera persona, le agregó eso. He usually plays up with friends after he... Does. Does. Después que hace la tarea, right? After he does his homework. And this one is the last sentence. He about uh, on his computer... Before he ¿Qué hace en la computadora? What do you think? Work. Study. Oh, work. Studying. Studying. ¿Qué más? Study. 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 Okay. What else? Informal. So, yeah, we can use any of them. What? Um, which is, okay, yeah, which is that could work. Vamos a repetir el verbo play. We are going to use play again, but all the possibilities you say is super bien. So he plays um, about on his computer before he, y la última. Goes to bed. Mm -hmm. Very good. There we go. Before he goes to bed about 11 p.m. And that's it, right? So very good job. Just remember, terceras personas, vamos siempre a agregarle S, aunque se vea bien repetitivo, and have, cambia un poquito y se convierte has for he. Um, so, ¿estamos bien hasta acá? Are we good so far? Yeah. Okay, amazing, amazing. So let me erase this and let's move on. No, let's just move on. Okay, there we go. So let's take a look at this one. Tengo una lectura acá pequeñita. Eh, 
No vamos a leerla ahorita, solo quiero que veamos las preguntas y vayamos respondiendo de una sola vez, if possible. For example, where does Lindy work? Give me the answer. Solo busquemos la respuesta rapidito. Where does Lindy work? Lindy's work in the baker shop. In a baker shop. Very good. What time does she arrive at work? Arrive at 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. she, she arrives at 7 a.m. Very good. What is her first job? Como la primera obligación. What is her first job? Say deliveries. Uh, she receives the deliveries. Exactly. Creo que también Moisés lo mencionó. I'm not quite sure. Yes, exactly. She receives the deliveries. Very good. How long? Yeah, cuánto tiempo? How long is it before the first customers arrive? ¿Cuánto tiempo pasa? How long is it before? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Exactly. She arrives at seven and at seven ten. Pues ya comienza. Okay. How does Lindy uh, greet her customer? ¿Qué significa greet? What is the meaning of greet? I don't know. Greet. Saludar, Miss. Saludar, Saludar correct. Miss. Exactly, exactly. So how does Lindy greet her customers? ¿Cómo los saluda? A cherry is my... With a cheery smile, okay, but what, um, what, what can uh -huh. I get you today? Exactly. So let's pregunte. How does she greet them? Well, first with a smile, and also a eh, pregunta. She asks, "What can I get you today?" Very good. And the last question: What does she call everyone? ¿Cómo le llama a todos? Ya. ¿Cómo le dice a todos? Early. Darling. Darling, exactly. So what is the meaning of darling? Darling is cariño. Cari yeah. que querida o cariño. Mm -hmm. Actually, ambas. <laughs> Both. So darling is una forma bonita de llamarle a alguien, right? A un amigo, like somebody very, someone really special. So like, hi darling, right? No necesariamente alguien involucrado emocionalmente, but uh somebody very close to you that's it so very nice very nice i like it now let's take a look at this um what are the deliveries here the deliveries the bread buns exactly como buñuelos right no yeah, so if you take a look, this is kind of a baker's shop. Very interesting. Bien diferente tal vez al empleo que nosotros tenemos, right? Because she is like very smiley. Uh, los trata con cariño. She is like, oh, hi, darling. She calls everyone darling. What about in your job? Ustedes le llaman darling? O como en español, como querido, uh, cariño, chelito, colocho. I don't know. <laughs> Do you use these expressions at work? ¿Las utilizan? No. Uh, no, no, right. No, no, no. <laughs> Definitely not for us. No, no, no. Sería acoso, probably. <laughs> ok, no. se puede malentender. So, ¿qué empleo hace esto? In this case, she's a, a, a baker worker, Best. right? Uh, or a salesperson. For example. Mm -hmm. Moses? In the restaurant. Oh, in a restaurant. What expression do they use? Uh, miss, Mrs, Mr. Oh, okay, okay. Miss, Mrs, all right. Como con el título, okay, okay. Yeah, super formal. Any any other place donde han escuchado these expressions or any other like Moses mentioned? Where? Mercado. Oh, yes, in the market. I love going to the market. Yes, Moses? In the market, for example, my princess, my love. 
<laughs> se siente querido, you know? <laughs> so you, you really like it, yeah, um, exactly, so the market, they call you that way, no, and people are really friendly, I would say, in a way, right, so, yeah. for example, in, in, in el comedor, ah, in a diner, at the, at the morning, the, the girl say me little thing, Oh, really? <laughs> okay. No, no. Oh, okay. okay. I mean, yes, of course. Cada uno utiliza diferentes formas, right? Uh, to, to show their appreciation. <laughs> okay. They normally call me like Chelita or something like that. <laughs> okay. Yes. That is just fine. Yes, Richard. For example, uh, in December, uh, in Centro, Ajá, in the market. Uh, yes, yes. O oh, olvídese, ahí, tiene que comprar. Yes, you have no, to buy. Ahí, ahí, ahí lo tratan con amor. Well, all the time, right? Yes. Si se dan una cruzadita, yes. yeah, you feel. Ay, hasta, hasta lo quieren tocar a uno, pero uno tiene ah, que. Ah, bueno, esa es otra cosa. <laughs> But we are just talking no, about. Ahí, ahí, ahí ya no, ahí ya no. Ahí. Pero uno uh, se about... tiene que dar su lugar de sí. sí we are just correcto, talking about correcto, some nice words. Yo por eso no paso por ahí. Okay. <laughs> no comments on that. Puedo, Let's puedo, take a look at puedo, this. Puedo irlas a demandar por acoso. No, uh, no I mean, eh, nowadays es un poco más complicado, right? Because um, probablemente si es un salesperson, you can use some of these expressions. Pero um, creo que también se puede dar mal en, a malentender, right? So it can be misunderstood. So we kind of... We are very careful on this. Let's take a look at the following. Here we have a uh, describe a colleague, a uh, colleague's routine at the workplace. Tenemos un poquito de descripción too. Acabamos de leer la descripción de lo que hacía this person, like Lindy. And now we have here another conversation between Celia and Marcos. So uh, let me just listen to you guys. Aquí no he escuchado for some days. Let me check. Let me take a look. Carlos, thank you, Carlos. Ayúdeme con Marcos, please. Jackie, are you around? Me puede ayudar con Celia. Can you read Celia's part? Okay, teacher. Thank you. And Carlos, can you take Marcos? Mm -hmm. De que me activó el audio, pero no sé si estamos teniendo problemas, Carlos. Ay, teacher, si no está. No, es que, es que dijo que estaba probando el audio. Sí le veo el audio conectado, pero I cannot hear anything. Carlos, usted o sea, me escucha. Un segundo. Let me just write in the chat. Yo creo que está probando el audio. Hola, Carlos. Hello. Oh, sí le escucho. Un poquito lejos, probable. ¿Usted no se escucha? Sí, yo los escucho bien. Ah, ok. Much better. No, ahora sí se escucha un poco más claro. Ok, please, ayúdanos con... Hola, hola. Hola. Hola, Um, al ir, se escucha como un poquito lejano, pero sí se le lo va a escuchar, so, sí se puede entender. It's okay. So, um, Jackie, you can get started, please. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Very good. I just finished interview some potential employees. Then I have to talk the staff about some change in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I rescheduled some to some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyways, how about, how about you? Use the usual. Mm -hmm. Checking that the, that the person is ready and ordering the inventory. I hope ordering the inventory was Janet's job. 
Okay, thank you so much. Amazing. That was a really nice one. So let's take a look at the description here. Well, primero, they mentioned lo, las actividades que hicieron, right? For example, I finished interviewing. También lo que tiene que hacer, I have to talk to the staff, right? Um, let me see. I rescheduled. So las actividades que ya hizo, I rescheduled. Ya lo hice. Pero I need to make some calls. Todavía tengo que hacer eso. Um, and uh, let me take a look what else. Pretty much that's it. Si se fijan, utilizamos pasado para las cosas que ya las terminé. So I rescheduled. I made. I finished. Y también lo que necesito todavía hacer, puedo utilizar I have to. O puedo utilizar, como veíamos el día de ayer, uh, I must, ok, or utilizo I need to. Necesito hacer eso. So that means todavía no lo tengo listo. I don't have it ready. Give me just a sec. Let me just present the following. So let's take a look at this part. It says here, take a look at some common tasks of uh, personnel at the restaurant. Remember, personnel is all the staff. Personnel is all the people that work with you, right? The members. Okay. How different or similar are with yours? Um, for example, the person says, meet the head chef to review the weekly menu, call a marketing company about promotional souvenirs, order the inventory. The, then we have talked to the staff about changes in the schedule. Interview potential employees and check the weekly schedule. So, imagine that we are talking about the activities we do every day. So, um, son diferentes, son similares, tienen algo en común. So, what do you do that is very common in your cases? Um, what we are going to do is the following activity. Write the tasks you do in your work. Then, Get in first and ask your classmates about the tasks he or she does in her workplace or her, he, her or his workplace. Vamos a comparar ahorita las actividades que hacen, guys. We are going to compare them. Y lo que vamos a hacer is the following. Vamos a encontrar cosas que tengamos en común. We are going to find things we have in common. So, um, can I have a volunteer? Puedo tener un voluntario. Yes, teacher. Hi. Okay, thank you, Carlos. So, um, Carlos, vamos a encontrar algo que tengamos en común. Some of the, of the activities, some of the obligations, some of the things we need to do, right? So, comienza a contarme. Start telling me, y cuando encuentre algo en común, I'm going to write it here. Okay, for example, I check emails. Mm, yes, me too. <laughs> So we check emails every day. Um, ¿Qué tantos emails? How many emails? A few? Poquitos? Some? Or a lot? Over one hundred. Over a hundred emails? Yes. Mm, okay, I check less. So we check, uh, no pongamos un número. We say a lot, bastante, right? Yes. We check a lot of emails every day. All right. There we have one thing in common. Next one, tell me more. What do you do? I make uh, financial reports. Mm, I don't make financial reports. Okay. Uh, I uh, obtain permission of government. Mm, okay, I don't do that. I use Excel a lot. Do you use Excel a lot? Yes, I use Excel. Yes. Okay, so we use Excel a lot. All right, good. What uh, else? I have meetings uh, through uh, Zoom. Oh, okay. Well, I don't have meetings in Zoom, but I have online meetings too. So we have online meetings. How often do you have meetings? Every week or every month or every day? Every week. Okay, yeah, me too. I have meetings every week. Okay, every week. All right, good. What else do you do? Uh, I planning uh, the weekend, the week uh, of labor. 
like your you have like a schedule, like an agenda. Yes. Mm, okay, not in my case. Mm -hmm. mm. What else? I give a report to accountant department. Mm, I don't do that. Okay, <laughs> so we don't have that in common. Okay, what else? Uh, take a coffee every morning. Oh, that's something I do, but <laughs> okay. Digamos que es una una obligación <laughs> because of the ways no me despierto. So we take uh, we have we have coffee. Um, well, I have coffee early in the morning. What about you? Yes, in the morning. Yes. Okay. So early uh, morning. Okay, like bien tempranito. Uh, we have coffee early morning. Okay, very good. So guys, thank you so much, Carlos. This is exactly what we will be doing. No lo vamos a decir en español. ¿Qué haces? <laughs> okay, contame qué haces. Now, you're going to start telling. And you says, vamos a utilizar mucho listening comprehension. Escuchen el compañero. ¿Qué les está diciendo? And you're going to think, yo también o yo no lo hago, right? No necesitan, don't say it in Spanish, please. That is one thing. And second, si no le comprendieron, if you didn't understand what your classmate said, um, le pueden pedir que lo repita, right? I'm sorry, can you repeat? Or I didn't, les voy a compartir esa expresión. Um, like, I didn't, I didn't understand i'm sorry i didn't understand that you repeat right so this is one way i didn't understand that can you repeat or simplemente can you repeat could you please repeat and uh, también remember que la expresión eh, understand la puedo cambiar por el verbo get I'm sorry, I didn't get that. So get is como un understand, pero mucho más informal. Um, I didn't get it. Yeah, I didn't get it. No entendí. So I didn't. I didn't get it. All right. Like, um, no entendí. I, I'm sorry, I didn't get it. All right. So those are some expressions that we can use. Y los que tengan en común, I mean, vayan, vayan escribiéndolo, right? So write them down. Um, we are going to join in super small groups so you can have the opportunity to speak. And uh, al menos hagan una lista de tres, cuatro. I have here three. We check emails a lot. Oh, I have four. We use Excel a lot. Uh, we have online meetings every week. And we have coffee early in the morning. So listen to your classmates. Probablemente tengan más cosas en común than we know. Who knows? So allow me one moment. Let me send you some invites so we can go and get some things in common. Okay, guys, you have five minutes. Pónganse de acuerdo. Listen to your classmates. Utilicemos mucho listening comprehension. Listen to them. Write them down y regresamos en cinco. So let's go, everybody.
Okay, guys, so thanks a lot for coming back. Gracias por regresar. I guess I got everybody here. Yeah, I think I do. All right, so thanks a lot for this. So the activity que teníamos que hacer is this. Uh, listen to your classmates, listen to the activities they do every day, y poder encontrar algo que tengamos en común con el compañero, right? So let me just go ahead and listen to your classmates. Um, so, ¿qué es lo que encontraron en común with the rest of them? If, for example, room number one, Guadalupe Ignacio Norberg, Karina René and Mabel. So guys, ¿qué tienen en común? What do you have in common? For example, in my group, all, all, all people use the, the printer every day and, and the all people send email or check the email every day. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you print and check emails. All right. What else? ¿Qué más? In our in our group, uh, all the um, all uh, classmates to use Excel Basic. Okay, yes. so everybody uses Excel. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, okay, that's okay. Very good. Anything else? Encontraron algo más en común? No, only print, printer, Excel. Okay, only you print, you check your email, and you use Excel. All right, perfect. That's okay. That's okay, guys. Let's go Teacher, with group number two. Yes, uh, Guadalupe. How do you say radio? Pero radio de, de, de como walkie-talkie. Walkie-talkie? Walkie-talkie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a walkie-talkie. Uh -huh. okay. Esa es la palabra en español. Yeah, well, in English, a walkie-talkie. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you mm -hmm. use a walkie-talkie? Yes. Oh, okay. what about the rest? Guys, who says who said walkie-talkie too? Norbert? Mm -hmm. um, no, no. Renee? Mm -hmm. no. Norbert? No? Okay. The only Guadalupe. Okay. No, well, actually, some difficult to use that. Are they difficult, Guadalupe? No. It's easy. No. Okay. Lo único que creo que es como suena raro, right? I mean, yeah. todo el rato pasa sonando. Creo que me desesperaría. <laughs> okay, I would get crazy with that. Okay, okay. Thank you. Let's go with group two. Eh, Carlos, Claudia, eh, Dani, and Richard. Guys, ¿qué tienen en común? What do you have in common? What activities do you share? Drink, drink a coffee. Okay, so you drink coffee? Okay, besides yeah. drinking yeah. coffee, having breakfast. Yeah. Uh -huh. We are wear a uniform. Oh, you wear yes. a uniform. Okay. Yes, the driver to driver uh, you work. Okay, so you drive to work. Okay. Yes. I don't know why, guys, pero creo que no, no veo, I don't see uh, Danny. In a, well, Danis, no lo veo en uniforme. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> but ah, you don't look like eh, the uniform boy. No, no obligation. I don't no, no. Pero oh. I, I use it. Uh, yeah, I don't know why, but uh, no, I cannot see you in a uniform. Okay. Special, special obligation, usually uh, uniforme. Okay, so it is an obligation in your case. Yes. I see. Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, no so you... money. <laughs> but, no, I mean, because it is, if it is mandatory, si no lo regresa, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So yes. you wear a uniform. Oh, recordemos que la palabra para ropa, eh, podemos utilizar wear, right? Mm -hmm. wear. So, yeah, so we wear uniform. Okay, yes. ¿qué más? You drink uh, coffee, you try to work. Seeing a two assistant. You have two assistants? Yes. Both of you. Ambos tienen asistentes. Yes. No, yes. no, 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 no. Firmamos asistencia. Oh, attendance. Yes. Okay, yes. okay. So you sign attendance. Okay. Yes. Got it, got it. Okay, uh, attendance. That, mm -hmm. is, that is not service grants. No. Okay. Yes. No. So you don't talk to people. 
Richard, Richard, yes. yes. Service to him. Wait, uh, so Danis doesn't have like, like customer service, like no trabaja con el cliente directo, no, something like no, that? No. Okay, so he doesn't, okay, no, have no, customer no, service. No, no, no. Richard, yes. <laughs> Richard does, okay. Yes. Okay. That's it. Oh, that's it. Okay. Yes, yes, <laughs> okay, yes. nice. Y yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay, that's yes. it. Solo eso. Mm -hmm. That's yes, it. Very yes. good. Now yes. you got it. Nice. Okay. Uh, the next group I have is Eduardo, eh, Sarai, Alex, and the Clary. Si no me equivoco, estaba. Yeah, Anita también. Okay. So Anita, Sarai, Alex, and Clary. So guys, what do you have in common? Teacher, yo yes. estaba con Dolores y con, con Marvin. <laughs> es que a Dolores yes. le llamo Sarai. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, because I was telling Sarai yesterday que la palabra Dolores la siento como una mala palabra, como me duele todo. <laughs> so I call ah, it okay, Sarai. <laughs> yeah, okay. but it is the same person, no se preocupe. <laughs> okay, teacher. Okay. So girls, ¿qué tienen en común? What activities do you have in common? Um, we we check emails every day. Okay. We make phone calls every day, and okay. and we use uh, handle a Excel that database database. Okay. Database. Mm -hmm. And we drink water very often. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, okay. Nice, nice. So you, you use Excel or you handle Excel databases? Okay, cool. Thank you so much, guys. And uh, that was like very nice, actually. I really like it uh, because no les vi como escribiendo, so you were just discussing. That was very cool. Very, very cool. All right, I have just one uh, activity antes de nuestra speaking part. Y vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Vamos a hacer como una especie de... Um, the cadenita. We are going to do something like a, like a little chain. And the, tenemos, si se fijan, como dos fichas acá. So we have uh, this person who is a student. Y tenemos the second one, the green one, que es una persona que está retired. Tenemos acá un par de vocabulario de expresiones también, right? Uh, in case uh, nos puedan ayudar a incrementar nuestra vocabulary here. So, First, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. We will do the following. Um, ayúdenme a crearle nombres, right? Uh, for the student. So, ¿qué nombre le damos? What name do we assign for the orangish? ¿Qué nombre le ponemos a, eh, de acá? Puede ser a boy or a girl, whatever. Jonathan. Okay, that's a good name. So, <clears throat> okay, this is Jonathan. And what about retire? El que ya, se, el que ya está um, jubilado. So, tell me a name, any name. Girl or boy? Cualquiera. <laughs> any name? Ignacio. Ignacio, ok. So, ya, ya están prediciendo su retiro pronto, Ignacio. The next, year, the, the next year is good. Really? Next year? No, right? Todavía no, no yet. Ok. So, tenemos Ignacio, we have Ignacio there, uh, and we have Jonathan here. Ok, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Really quick. Um, les voy a decir un nombre. I mean, I'm going to tell you, for example, eh, I don't know, Norbert, all right, y me empieza a contar un poquito de, so, utilizando cualquiera de esas expresiones, any of these expressions. So, I mean, la idea es, empieza a contarme todo lo que pueda, as much as you can, no solamente leerlo, like, for example, he gets up at 6.50, he goes to the bathroom, no, sino que intente darme como detalles, right? Eh, for example, Jonathan gets up at 6.50, 
and uh, he checks his phone and then he goes to the bathroom. So he sings a song, agregame como un poquito de detalles, right? Try to add some details para cada una de estas actividades. And then voy a ir con siguiente nombre, siguiente nombre. So para que todos estemos super listos cuando les corresponde. Whenever is your time. So vamos a hacer la cadenita hasta que logremos terminar. But eh, aparte de lo que está acá, deme en detalles, right? Give me some details about these activities. Let me get started. So, comenzamos con Jonathan, guys. We will start it with Jonathan. Eh, Anita, ¿ya se siente mejor? Para, esta, ¿Su voz está mejor? ¿Is your voice better? Yes, teacher. Ay, nice. Sí, lo escuché súper claro. <laughs> Very clear. Ok, me alegra mucho. I'm super happy to hear that. So, Anita, comenzamos con usted. We get started with you. Cuéntame de Jonathan. Tell me about his uh, day job. Uh, Jonathan, he's get up, up um, at six, six, uh, five, fifty, get up. <laughs> fifty, it's okay, continue, it's continue. Because, because, um, arrive early in your job. Mm -hmm. And then goes to the bathroom um, and later puts on these clothes because right. um, use the uniform. All right. Thank you. Sarai, let's continue. Very good, Anita. Mm -hmm. Sarai, let's continue. Um, he has break up every day and uh, goes to school by bus mm -hmm. because he not have a car mm -hmm. okay and has seven lessons a day afternoon in the afternoon okay. he has a lunch at the school all right thank you thank you so much uh, danis let's continue okay danis was not feeling right okay well Alupe, let's go with you uh, jonathan has lunch at school uh, his mother uh, prepared and uh, uh, he take uh, in the time the lunch. He goes uh, at home the, uh, around the 3.45 minutes and um, he relax for 25 minutes and she, uh, he uh, watch the, the, the cell phone uh, and the social media. He doesn't in his work, uh, homework for six, 15 uh, to five fifteen. All right, perfect. Thank you so much, Karina. Let's continue. Uh, Jonathan goes to the sports center and Ignacio listens to the radio. Uh, Jonathan has dinner 7 p.m. and he watches he watches TV. And she cleans her shows every in the, during the evening. Okay. And he brushes his teeth before she he sorry he goes to the bed at nine thirty. 
All right, amazing, very good. Thank you, Karina, that was okay. Now let's move a little bit and let's go with this person that is Ignacio. Um, Pedrina, let's start with you. Pedrina, are you around? And Pedrina is not there. Rene, are you around? Yes. Perfect, let's get started. Tell us about Ignacio, please. Let me make this as well. Ignacio, uh, Ignacio washes her face and teeth every day in, in the in the morning after go, goes to the her, his his job. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, then, then Ignacio make, uh, makes breakfast and cleans his house. Uh, Ignacio cleans his house all weekend because it's only day half, tiene tiempo, half time. He has time off. Uh huh. Time, okay. Yes. yes, perfect. Thank you. Nelson, continue, please, after cleaning the house. Oh, Nelson? Hi, teacher. I'm sorry. Oh, there uh, you go. I drink water. And it's okay. No worries. <laughs> I'm glad you're back. Okay, so uh, continue with the story, please. From uh, here, Cook's Lunch. Cuéntanos un poquito de Ignacio's activity. Puede inventarle, please. Add more information. Okay, este, Ignacio Cook's Lunch. Uh, chicken fried with potato, mm -hmm. potato French, mm -hmm. and cooks lunch too, and chicken soul, mm -hmm. and, and prepare mm -hmm. a sandwich. And okay. vegetable. Nice, nice. Thank you so much. Norbert, continue, please, in the afternoon. What does he do? Okay, teacher. Um, Ignacio, afternoon. Uh, uh, looks after grandchildren. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, one moment. Oh, sure, uh, no problem. He's a preparer's diner for here uh, together family uh, because you're just married, uh, work, work uh, every day. Mm -hmm. um, Keep uh, listen to to radio. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the music, uh, the rock, and mm -hmm. classic. Um, two two dance. Okay, nice. Thank you, Norbert. Alex, are you here? I think he's busy, he's working. Uh, Clary, are you around, Clary? Clary, Clary? Probably she's not there. Richard, are you around? Hello. Hello, Richard. Let's continue. In the evening, what activities does he do in the evening? Jonathan or Ignacio? Sorry? Um, 
Oh, here. Acá. Yes. Eh, oh, okay, Ignacio, okay. yes. Yes, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Um, that's saying uh, they laundry. Um, I don't they. Oh, okay. He. Mm -hmm. he, he doesn't do laundry. He mm -hmm. iron the clothes. He mm -hmm. has dinner. Um, because um, mm -hmm. uh, sorry, uh, red. Uh, he's a red magazine. Okay. He has a shower. All right. Um, uh, he's going to do sleep. Uh, one, uh, one, 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 Okay, nine and a quarter, 9.15. Okay, 9.15, exactly. All right, thank you. Thank you, guys. And thanks also for the ones who added like extra details. That sounds very, very nice. Uh, now, just a little something. A pesar que acá tengo los verbos, remember that siempre es necesario agregarle ya sea he or she, right? Um, here, en esta parte de acá, um, you did a very good job al cambiarle en vez de her, como hablamos de Ignacio, le cambiamos a his. So nice job. So he washes his face, he brushes his teeth. So very good job with that. All right. Now, guys, I have a little activity for you for speaking practices. Give me just a second. Let me just present this over to you. Give me a sec. Okay. So let's take a look at this one. Okay. Uh, the activity here, it says a day in the life of. You know, normally cuando estamos hablando de nuestras propias actividades, nuestro propio job, uh, nos memorizamos qué es lo que hacemos. Pero imagínense por un momento que uso, el bleu cambia. Your job changes, all right? So, tenemos acá un par de empleos. I believe tenemos suficientes, all right, for everybody here. So what I want you to do is the following. In the chat, guys, quiero que seleccionen uno. I want you to select one job y que hablemos de esa persona. Imagínense que for one day, ustedes son dentistas. You are a dentist or you are a cake decorator, all right? O que son organizadoras de bodas. So your wedding consultant, etc. So in the chat, no se pueden repetir. We cannot repeat them. Oh, gracias, Clary. Acabo de ver su mensaje. Thank you. Um, so, no se puede repetir, así que si ya seleccionaron uno, if you already selected one, go to the chat, escríbanlo, select it, para que nadie más lo tome, right? So, si ven uno en el chat, ya no lo pueden escoger. You cannot choose it anymore. Los empleos están un poquito raros algunos, así que aprovechen ahorita que tienen donde escoger. So, everybody, go to the chat, esco es seleccionen uno, write one. And, uh, and I'm reading you. Oh, solo de los que están acá, Norbert. Solo de los que están acá. Only the ones that are here on the list. All right. So I need to say dentist, florist, just a tomada. Okay. Si lo ven en el chat, ya no lo pueden tomar, guys. You cannot take it anymore. Okay. Cake uh, decorator, I guess. Richard, mm -hmm. oh, please color teacher, okay. Okay, guys, I'm reading you. Hello, uh, executive assistant, okay, creo que alguien está teniendo problemas con el inter. Um, I'm not quite sure, no soy segura quién fue, pero chicos, si el internet los está sacando, let me recall. Tenemos acá eh, varios, oh, Pedrina, ok. Tenemos acá varios empleos. Vamos a seleccionar uno, Pedrina. We are going to select one de los que están acá. Eh, les voy a leer los que ya no están disponibles para que no se repitan. Eh, so, dentist, florist, K decorator, pre-scholar eh, teacher, executive assistant, skin instructor, uh, actor, ya no los pueden tomar. You cannot take it anymore. Pero tienen todavía varios. You can take a couple of them. 
So I'm gonna mark them here para que ya no los tomen. So you can not take them. So actor is taken, skin instructor is taken. Que feo salió eso. Wait, <laughs> let me just erase it. Okay. Bien, si ya lo es, escogieron, si ya lo tienen, guys, um, vamos a describir como si ustedes eh, tuvieran esta ocupación, right? Como si fuera su empleo. Tenemos, like, five minutes. Empezamos a trabajar con ellos y lo vamos a presentar. We are going to be presenting them. Florist, ya está. Dentist, free scholar teacher, executive assistant, me falta alguno? Am I missing any of them? A tour guide, okay. Tour guide is going to and zookeeper, okay. Me faltan varios guys. I'm missing some. A zookeeper ya lo tomaron Ignacio, sorry. Tour guide, just some. Doctor, preschooler, cake, dentist, doctor. Okay, farmer. Okay, good. Farmer. But uh, we are missing some. For example, catador, como un catador, stylist, concierge, park ranger, guys, video game designer, wedding consultant. Todavía hay varios. So we have a couple of them. Marketing manager, okay. So marketing manager, okay, it's taken already. Patrol officer, okay, patrol officer, gotcha. There we go. Okay, tenemos eh, cinco minutitos, we got five minutes, para que piensen, para que lean un poquito, like super quick, cuáles son algunas actividades que hacen. Five minutes. Me faltan algunos. I'm still missing some. I have 20. I have 12 selected. So I'm missing. I'm missing Carlos, Anita, Danis, Eduardo, Alex. I'm missing Clay, uh, Richard, creo que me falta two. I think I'm missing you. Ah, ya tengo, teacher. I know, ya, ya, ya lo vi. Yeah, you, you are right. Lo acabo de ver. Yes. <laughs> okay, guys. So, five minutes. Piensen un poquito en qué actividades hacen, what activities they do. Si necesitan buscar alguna palabra, feel free de revisarla, Google it, etc. Right? And uh, si necesitan ayuda, let me know. Tenemos solo cinco minutitos. We have only five minutes. Hasta las 35.
Two more minutes. Aquí así dándole, que estaba perteneciendo la India, pero le estaba dando que gracias a todos los que se está cumpliendo. Oh, guys, just a little something. Eh, para los que llevan como bitácoras o llevan records. Sorry, uh, ya sea de ventas, como de visitas, etc. Hay una expresión que utilizamos que es keep track. Um, so I keep track. Um, en caso, por ejemplo, lleven eh, documentación de algún proceso you know, y tengan que irlo guardando. So that is I keep track of. Si van documentando ventas, por ejemplo, that would be like I keep track of sales. O si documentan en el caso de Pedrina, estábamos viendo, like, I keep track of visitors. O, um, I mean, si hay algo del que deben de llevar como un, un seguimiento, eso es un I keep track. Ah, okay. <coughs> Se confunde uno con las palabras, teacher. <laughs> no, yes, yes. Y de hecho, les comparto esa palabra por lo mismo, porque no es como eh, muy común, ¿verdad? No es tan literal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pero sí nos ayuda mucho. It helps us a lot. Okay, guys, so we are going to get started with this. Uh, remember, vamos a hablar de desempleo como si fuera el nuestro, right? 
Eh, of course, for example, if you decided to be a zookeeper, va a ser bien diferente del empleo que ustedes tienen. And that is the idea, get more vocabulary and be able to practice, uh, to talk, right? About any topic that is presented to us. So let's get started here. Oh, in the previous activity, escuché las voces de algunos, but uh, well, I'm just trying to have everybody talking. So, eh, ¿tengo algún voluntario? Do I have any volunteer? Hi, teacher. Okay, perfect, Richard. So, the one that you selected was a cake decorator, right? Un, deca un decorador de pasteles. So, yes. interesting, because it's really different from your job. So, perfect. Tell yes. us about your job. What do you do? Uh, <clears throat> No sé si está bien así. Pero Dígalo, ya sé, y acá okay. lo corregimos, no hay problema. Uh -huh. uh, Richard Bakery. Uh, I am a cake decoration. Uh -huh. uh, we, care, we, we care of for our kin uh, of the events. And we uh, accompany youth economics. We have cakes for Weddings, weddings, se dice boda, ¿verdad? Yes, yes, okay. you are doing nice, continue. Weddings, uh, gratulations, yes, uh, also birthday, uh, also the daily for the love of your life, uh, also for the toxic. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, what fro you like? Uh, chocolate, strawberry, vanilla, mocha, coffee, rum, uh, oats, oats, creo que es nueces, uh, okay. Nutella y cherry. Okay. Um, for a, a special date, uh -huh. uh, we also have home service. Uh, will be uh, pleased to assist in you, uh, Rich and Berry. That's that's it. Hey, that was really <laughs> nice, Richard. <laughs> I like the way you presented the <laughs> very cool job. Very creative the way you say it. You know, <laughs> so you have cakes for the love of your life, for birthdays, for weddings, for the toxic ones. <laughs> that was very creative. Super good. Nice, yes. nice. All right. Solo un par de cositas con pronunciation, you know, para que también los compañeros podamos eh, practicar and, and get this right. Eh, sí, Richard, la pronunciación de esto es wedding. Very good. Wedding. Super bien. Super bien. Mm -hmm. That is a wedding, como una boda, right? Yes. Um, <clears throat> solo a little something, sorry. I, I guess I will get sick. Um, so, repita conmigo. Just repeat with me. Birthday. Birthday. Birth. Birthday. Birth. Birth. Exactly. Birthday. 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 Wedding. Uh, wedding. Creo wedding. que me, me mencionó por ahí eh, congratulations. La palabra ah, congratulations sí. es felicidades, no, pero... It, 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 sorry, era graduation. Oh! Yes. <laughs> That yes. was graduation. Ok, no, ok, olvídalo. Yeah. Entonces, está muy bien. Graduation. Ok. Um, y en este caso, usted sería como Richard's, eh, Richard the Baker, probably. Ok. <laughs> ok, el Baker. No, Baker. baker. Bakery. Yes, porque bakery es la panadería, uh -huh. ah, como Richard's ah, Bakery, pero usted okay. su empleo sería I am a baker. Uh -huh. baker. Am a Aparte baker. de eso, súper bien. <laughs> Very nice baker. job. That was really cool. Very creative. I like it. I like the way you presented this. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so that was Richard's volunteering. Guys, podemos pasar ahora o podemos practicarlo y les queda como tareita para el día de mañana a quienes no logré pasar ahora. That's totally fine. So, ¿quién sigue? Who's next? Who wants to do it today? ¿Quién le quiere presentar ahora? Teacher. 
Yes, Pedrina. Yes, Pedrina. A ver qué me sale. Perfecto. No, súper bien, Pedrina. Démosle. Y si no lo corregimos y lo volvemos a practicar, no hay problema. I work assisting admins. Eh, check at correspondence. Uh -huh. My my boss in take take me and I keep track of take visitor. Uh -huh. I check at his night. I pay his beings. Mm -hmm. Ok, ok, thank you, exactly. Uh, era la descripción que estábamos revisando, right? Okay, that was okay. the one. Ok, solo, ok, very good job, Padrina, nice, nice try. Eh, solo un par de eh, cositas, creo que era con la palabra lives. Mm, creo que me la cambió por bills. So I think we're good. Eh, let's keep track of. Um, and tenemos messages. Solamente eh, repitamos, you know, just in case algún compañero también tenga dudas con eso. So let's try to get it here. Eh, repita conmigo. Bills. Bills. Bill. Bills. Como la L. Bill. Uh, bills. Uh -huh. Solo es la L. Bill. Uh -huh. Bill. The other one is keep track. Care and train. Esta, la primera es keep. Keep. Uh -huh. Keep, con una P al final. Keep. keep. Eh, cierre, cierre los labios. Keep. Keep. Ok, ajá, uh -huh, exactly. Ahora, keep. keep track. 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 Eh, it's not. Ah, uh, it's not. Ajá, uh -huh. yes. Ahora agrégueme el sonido de la K. Ac. Up. Up. Uh -huh. Déjeme ver en español, creo que no tenemos otro sonido de ac. Mm -hmm. mm. No, no recuerdo. Ok, so track. Track. Ajá, ok. Y la última es of. Of. Of, exactly. Ok, ahora si lo ponemos juntos, suena como tr keep track of. Keep track of. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Track of. Mm -hmm. Keep track of. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, sí. Exactly, there we go. Y la última es messages. 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 Mesa. Mesa. Como mesa, una mesa. Ah. Mesa. Mesa. Uh -huh. Creo que me la pronuncia como una Z. Mesa. 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 Sí, exactly, exactly. Una mesa. Mesa. Ahora. Agregue, ok, ahora es algo diferente. Ahora agreguémosle yes, messages. Messages. Exactly, very good, good, there we go. So, okay. Hay unos sonidos que sí, le vamos a cambiar la pronunciación, pero en este caso suena como de español mesa. So, messages. Messages. Mm -hmm. messages. messages, exactly. Sin la Z, messages. Very good. So, keep on working. Very nice job. Good, Pedrina, good, good, good. All right, I have time for one more person. Guys, ¿quién más? Who wants to do it today? He can. Me yes, teacher. Nail. Okay, I think we can go for both. Nelson, very good. ¿Cuál es el suyo? What is yours? Okay, I am a zookeeper. Oh, very interesting. A zookeeper. Okay, let us listen to you. Okay, I am a zookeeper. I am responsible for maintaining the health of every animal and as well ensure maintenance of the habitat. And I'm inserting medication. Oh. And location assisting veterinary, veterinary procedures. And to our zookeeper, have was studied biology and zoology. I love the animals. Wow, Nelson, I'm super excited to listen to you. Very nice. Nice description. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. Muy buen uso de vocabulario. Um, very good description and, and todo lo que incluyó, you know, that was very, very nice. I like it a lot. Um, solo un par de cositas, you know, que podemos eh, mejorar, of course. Um, for example, la palabra, eh, yo sé que tendemos, well, in a very general way, a utilizar esta expresión, occasions. Um, but, eso es como un poquito español, entonces podemos cambiar la palabra occasions 
por la palabra sometimes que vimos esta semana, right? Eh, incluso podemos separarla en sometimes. So, eh, siempre que, que pensemos eh, como en ocasiones, oh, pensamos, oh, sometimes, all right? That would be sometimes. Um, that would be one. And um, let me just try to remember. And, uh, and probably just this one, that is biology, right? So bio, eh, repita conmigo, bio. 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 Biology. 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 Bi biology. Exactly, very good. There we go, biology. Exactly. Lo demás super bien. I'm very excited to hear you. Good job, Nelson. Very, very nice. Um, creo que escuché por ahí a Clary. So Clary yes. was ready to go. Yes, me. Amazing. So great, great. So Clary, ¿cuál es el empleo que escogió? What is the job you selected? To a guy. A tour guide. Okay, perfect. Yes. Let us listen to you. I am a tour guide. I assembling uh, groups the visitants in tourist places as um, sports stadiums, a historic building, beach, towns, and the cities. I offer, how do you say ofrecer? Offer? Offer, yes. Okay. I offer... Um, Informa informative, entertaining uh, tour, in especially in area. Is that it? Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, I was like, yeah, tell me more. <laughs> okay, that was nice. That was a really good description about what tour guys do. Um, muy buen vocabulario, por cierto. Very good vocabulary. That sounded um, very technical a little bit, you know. Very nice, Clary. That was good, good, good. All right, everybody. Okay. So uh, we had today, let me see, Richard. We have Clary, we have Pedrina, uh, we have, ¿Qué más? We got three, me falta uno, I'm missing one person. Nelson. Oh, Nelson, oh yeah, Nelson, thank you. So, están exonerados de mañana. <laughs> okay, for the rest of you guys, uh, you had to keep on practicing, right? And tomorrow, al conectarnos, hora día en de clase, so vamos con la, la presentación del trabajo, right? para que practiquemos un poquito de uh, fluency as well. No se lo memorizan, again, that's not the idea, no se lo tienen que aprender or anything, sino de la misma manera como lo hubiesen hecho ahora, right? So try to do it to get ready for tomorrow. Eh, antes de irnos, solo eh, confirmo asistencia. Eh, give me one second. Me ayudan, porfa, con su camarita. One moment. And uh, me regalan confirmación verbal as well. Eh, Anita. Present teacher. Gracias, eh, Brian. Uy, pero no está. Dani, Dani, well, Dani, si está there. Saraí. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo. Present. Guadalupe. Thank you. Present teacher. Jackie. Oh, Jackie tenía problemas con el Inter. Yo se le creo que también. Ignacio. Teacher, present. En Gracias. El and tomorrow I will be the patrol officer. You will be number one. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay, great, great. Sounds nice. Norbert? Present teacher. Gracias, Norbert. Uh, Clary? I am here, miss. Thank you so much. Um, well, Moses? Nelson? Present teacher. Yes. Pedrina. Present teacher. Eh, Richard. Present teacher. Present. René. Present teacher. Present. Uh, Mabel. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Karina. Me alegra que estés en su casa. I'm happy to see you there too. Uh, Karina. 
Present teacher. Gracias, Miss Carlos. Present. And thank you so much, Claudia. Claudia, creo que estaba trabajando. But thank you so much. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot for uh, joining today's class. So remember, tenemos hasta el día de mañana para completar la sección o la unidad número dos. Gracias a quienes ya lo completaron. And uh, pretty much that's it for today. Nos vemos mañana. Que descansen, que disfruten esta lluvia refrescante, you know. And have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye. I'll be thank seeing you tomorrow. See you bye. 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 No se nos olvide la tarea, please. Don't forget your homework. Bye. See you, see you. Thank you.